Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll compare a real sailplane flight with its recreation in Condor Soaring 3. The real flight took place in September 2024 using an LS6, while in Condor 3 I flew an LS8. We took off from Torino Air Italia Airport and headed west into the Val di Susa, a long valley stretching from Turin to the French border. Because there aren't many safe landing spots, we usually fly high near the valley slopes. On this particular day, the weather was quite humid, with a cloud base around 2,200 meters. Although it was late in the season and the thermals weren't very strong, the unstable air mass, combined with the south-facing slopes, made for a pleasantly smooth ride with mild slope lift and minimal turbulence. The virtual flight in Condor 3 was created after the real flight, letting me fine-tune the weather settings to closely match the actual conditions. I used the IGC file data to estimate wind direction, cloud coverage, and air instability, which helped generate similar scenarios in the simulator. While I couldn't precisely replicate the cloud coverage, most of the other conditions were quite similar. When flying in Condor, I tried to behave as I would in real life, avoiding high-risk maneuvers and excessive speeds. However, I'll admit there were a couple of moments where I was more aggressive than I would have been in an actual cockpit.
time.
For most of the flight, I didn't need to circle. Only toward the end, when heading back home, I decided to gain extra altitude, which was necessary to continue the task northward. The circling segment was harder to replicate in the simulator, so you'll notice some discrepancies compared to the real flight. Now let's wrap up with a few key conclusions. Condor 3 for training. With the right weather setup, Condor 3 offers a realistic experience that can be used to train for various conditions. Exploring new areas, it's a great tool for getting familiar with new regions, enhancing spatial awareness, and understanding terrain morphology. Scenario simulation and decision making. You can easily simulate different situations, practice decision-making, and refine your soaring strategies, all in a safe environment. Graphics versus realism. While the graphics are decent, there are more visually impressive simulators out there. Condor 3 truly stands out for its overall realism. Flight model and instrument integration. The flight model is excellent, adapting well to different gliders. The new LX9000 integration is especially helpful if you have an LX system in your real glider, allowing you to use your exact profile and practice in a risk-free environment. 
Active multiplayer community. Condor 3's established community offers a wide variety of online competitions, further enhancing the learning and fun. Hardware requirements. It's not too demanding on your PC, which means there's room for future scenario expansions and improvements. I hope you enjoyed this comparison between the real flight and its Condor 3 counterpart. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.